if an object is, I, I'll take help of this one, second diagram, uh, stability of floating objects here, stability of floating objects. The topic is I think now, no, little bit different conditions here. You can see now. Stable, unstable is filling. So again, the idea is same. Now, what do you mean by stable? Again, the same thing. Center of if if you look at here, <coughs> the weight for the weight will is acting somewhere here. The center of buoyancy is somewhere here. So when I slightly tilt it like this, the restoring torque will be set up in this direction. The restoring torque is set up. You can see this one. So initially what when the buoyancy and weight will act through a common point. Let's assume that one here. Now, now what happened? It is tilted. The angular displacement is given in this direction. Okay, I'll, I think I'll, I'll show theta here. I think this you may able to understand a little bit. This body is tilted, no? So you can you can see that it's tilted. Then definitely what happens, the buoyant force what happens, instead of acting exactly below the center of gravity, will will come, will shift towards right. Are you able to see the center of buoyancy will come towards right? So now we will set up a torque about <coughs> the center of gravity here. So shall we put this a stable equilibrium? Getting the idea? Stable equilibrium will conditions will come. Now come for this one. Unstable equilibrium now. So the now now it's in equilibrium. Net force, net torque is zero. I'll, I'll tilt it. Then the volume emerges. The center of buoyancy will shift towards left, and it will set up a torque about center of gravity. It will set up a sir, torque about center of gravity in clockwise. So here, how is the torque? The angular displacement. And this W, I'll, I'll, I'll remove the W from there. It will be easy for you. And this weight is Not needed. Yeah. Okay, till you, no, no, no. I think you, you can better re really understand very easily. No. So the weight is acting. Center of gravity. I'm showing the the, the weight. Black arrow. Come for this. Okay, now let's get into <coughs> how is the angular displacement given? Theta like this. How is the torque? Like this. Who will set up torque? The buoyant force. What is the property of buoyant force? It will set up a torque about a point because if a rigid body is set free to rotate, it will rotate about center of mass. So the torque due to buoyant force now will be in the direction of angular descent. This is unstable. No, sir, both are floating, but you are not seeing anything like uh, uh, say buoyancy, center of buoyancy should be above center of gravity, below. You don't bother. Floating objects. It doesn't matter. Center of buoyancy, center of gravity, the location. But for submerged bodies, it matters a lot. Here, what happened? It's all about the condition. Uh, able to understand the things clearly. So we have. So when when you slightly tilt it, the center of buoyancy will shift here, will come here. So it will set up anti tor. So this will be stable equilibrium. The 
stable equilibrium so this will be unstable equilibrium restoring torque or turning torque means like how do i come to know is a stable unstable means straight away you can ask a question so it's all about you should have the basics clearly so when you tilt this object so definitely what happen uh, you can see that there's a volume you must earlier the center of bias will be here so now you can see this part is more immersed than this part no so what do you expect center of bias will shift towards right here also i gave see angle displacement theta was given in same both are given same direction but look at the center of bias will shift here towards right here it will shift towards left Uh, able to make a condition so that they can ask you uh, conditions like <coughs> suppose say there is a cubical block it is submerged in water then uh, the density is such that the center of gravity will act here and the center of buoyancy must act through the center center of gravity center of buoyancy is needed but their position means don't put condition like this i told you please please you have to uh, take my sentences like a below center of buoyancy below center of gravity center of buoyancy above the center of gravity okay that is not a condition here the floating objects you have to check in what direction the center of buoyancy will shift when you tilt okay this is fully submerged body here so definitely if you release it the density is such that center of gravity is here tell me like is it in equilibrium unstable equilibrium shall i put because the buoyancy will act here this buoyancy what it does it will set up a torque and because of torque what happen it will rotate it will tilt i should show you talk about center of gravity only okay able to understand so the, the, the thing so different shaped objects will come we should <coughs> so this is very clear huh? the moment you release what when the bind force will set up a torque okay clockwise so this is a, not in equilibrium don't call stable unstable it's not in equilibrium the, the, this condition will come for the above one huh? not for this it's not in equilibrium huh? so i'll i'm bringing that also what about this object not in equilibrium now now come for this so there's a floating object so floating object like a you should just look at the when you tilt the body and you have to see that the center of buoyancy in what action got shifted and how it is setting setting up a torque i think this will be really challenging for you different shaped objects will come <coughs> you should try to sir how to look at center of buoyancy i think it's a quite common sense no you can see no it is here so when you tilt like this this part is having more volume immersed than this one so center of buoyancy will it be here or will it be should, should be somewhere in this region the volume immersed it matters the center of volume immersed roughly we can say here center of gravity <laughs> is independent of what the, the center of gravity of what center of gravity of the liquid or of the body center of gravity is of the body in whatever the position center of gravity will not change its position will be there only center of buoyancy will change its position based on the how much of volume is immersed i think volume immersed here and here are different please please do understand you you have a diagrams very clearly so the volume immersed or when the the center of buoyancy should should come here no should not be here should be here so this will be very challenging for student to identify center of buoyancy of course uh, <coughs> i'm not asking exact position i'm just asking a, a guess 
okay, can be somewhere here. Okay, let's let's do one thing. We'll we'll take a spear. We'll get some idea. Now, half of it is immersed. Restoring torque, restoring torque, the one which will bring it back. Restoring, please restore things in your home. What do you mean by restoring? You are getting back. So here, what the torque will do? Will bring the body back to equilibrium position. What about overturning torque? It will overturn, overturn, overturn. See language, all of your English medium, overturn, which will make it to further tilt. No. If you slightly display this, what happens? The rod will become almost horizontal. It will get tilted. Where this will come back to this one, original position. Restoring, restoring couple, restoring couple, couple. If you are um, unable to. We'll do one thing. We'll write talk. Huh? A center of gravity is here. Center of buoyancy should will be somewhere here. I will tilt this body now. This is P one, P two. Okay, the P one, P two has come. And now P one, P two. Okay, we'll do. We'll draw one our reference line. It'll be much easier for us. Let's see. Uh, we we have to really analyze with the diagram. Huh? I, I tilted it. Huh? I tilted it. Okay, tell me like uh, now. What will happen to the? Buoyancy. P three, P four. Now where the center of buoyancy should be? Anybody answers? So I'll I'll do one thing. You you are going to there's a volume immersed. Huh? You're just going to only tilt it. So even if you tilt it, this 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 what will be volume immersed? No. This what the volume immersed. So where the center of buoyancy will be? Will be there only. Will not change its position. What is the type of equilibrium it is? Neutral equilibrium. How is the torque? Torque, torque was angular displacement was given like this. And any, any torque will act no torque. So neutral equilibrium. So this spherical object no problem. But same thing you 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 look at the. This everything is liquid. This is a condition of neutral equilibrium. Of floating object. Okay, let's go for next one. One more condition. I'll bring it. Instead of this, we'll take a. 
cube. Now, L by 2 length, L by 2 length, this L square. Half of this is what emerged. And now I'm going to tilt it. What conditions will arise? So I think there's no formula. <coughs> what we have to do is we have to I think I can rotate it. Yeah, this will be better diagram. Center of gravity will not change, will be there only. So volume immersed, I think the liquid volume immersed will be this much. So different shaped objects will come. So there is what happens a student's ability to draw a diagram and analyze. So where the center of buoyancy, there's a center of gravity, this is center of buoyancy. Will I write? Uh, is, is I'm right? Okay, no. So this is the cube you write. No. Uh, <laughs> where the center of buoyancy should come. Should be on the left hand, left hand side or the right hand side? Should be on the right hand side, no? So how do I come to know? I think that there is a minimum basics what you must have. The center of buoyancy will, will come here. So then how was the torque given? The torque was the theta was given like this. And the, how is the torque is acting now? The torque is acting in this direction. So is it a stable equilibrium? A stable equilibrium. So are you getting the basic idea? So we, we, there's no any hard and fast rule. We must analyze through the diagram only. How to look at, <coughs> how to calculate torque, I think we should get into mathematics, which is beyond our level. So let, let me just only share the ideas here. Okay, fine. So this is about the stability of the floating objects. Huh? So I took a cylinder, Okay, this cylinder you have here is this one. I, I shown the spear also. Different shaped objects will come. So when it is, it, it will be there in some equilibrium. If you disturb it, what will happen to that equilibrium is what we are going to work out here. 